Hello. My name is Paul. We heard gunfire and... We came to investigate. Was it a murder? Or was it self-defense? Let's look at the crime scene to find out. Darn! I got blood on my shoes! How big would you say the victim was? I guess he is real big, perhaps six foot six or so. I would guess he weighed over 200 pounds. Cause of death? He bled to death out his head. So what caused the hole in his head? We think a bullet because we heard gunfire. I do not want to dig around in his head looking for the bullet. I will trust that is what happened. Who fired the gun? There is a guy here named George who has a gun in his hand. Let's ask him if he knows anything. Hello, my name is George. Hello, George. We would like you to give a statement. Please tell us what happened. Well, I was out for a walk looking for my buddy Lenny. You see, some men got nobody to give a hoot in hell about them. But Lenny and me is different. I look after him. Well, I found him and I called out to him. He hit me with a stick right in my ribs. I don't know why he done that. Sort of a cesspool thing to do. So I talked to him, but he just wanted to hit me. I saw he had had stolen a gun from the bunkhouse. I wrestled him for it. I got it from him, and then he grabbed me in the gun. <laughs> the gun it went off. Lenny was my friend. I didn't want him to die. It was an accident, self-defense. Thank you, George. Please do not leave town for now. You can go back home. Self-defense sounds reasonable to me. Ready to call it a day and grab a donut. James, Paul. I do not think it was self-defense. What? Put a hold on that donut. Tell us why you do not think it was self-defense. There are no bruises or abrasions on the body. That suggests there was no struggle. But George has a large bruise on his body. Wouldn't that suggest a fight? No, maybe it was caused by a cesspool or his brother, or maybe he got hit by someone very shallow. The shot was to the back of the head. That would not suggest a struggle. Anything else? Why did George tell us that Lenny had a gun? I think it was there before Lenny left, so how did Lenny get the gun? I was beyond the hill with Curly's gang. We heard voices talking, not yelling. Then we heard a gunshot. We came riding over. But you didn't see what happened? No, I didn't. And neither did anyone from Curly's gang. Why was Curly's gang out riding? We found Curly's wife dead. Looks like she fought with someone real big and they smothered her. Curly wanted blood. Do you think this dead body killed Curly's wife? We think so. There was a dead puppy nearby, similar death. I'm looking at the evidence. I just don't know about George's story. So class, what do you think? Was it murder? Or was it self-defense? I don't think it was self-defense.
I say we ask George one more time to explain what really happened. Maybe it wasn't murder or self-defense. Is there a third choice? Did George want to let me to die? Of course I didn't want Lenny to die. I'll be really lonely without him. He may have been simple, but he was my friend. Curly didn't seem to want justice. He wanted blood. Lenny was dreaming of his rabbits when he was killed, so he seemed very happy. George, on the other hand, has seen his dream die with Lenny. It is hard to say who lost the most that day. Maybe that is punishment enough. It might be time for us to go. You are right. Maybe that is why Steinbeck ended it where he did. Bye for now!